Jurassic. Glad to be back at the Discover Aquatic Research Facility. This game has many memories. A lot of memories back then. Where it was originally going to become Discover Computer Core version 3. But instead, it has become its original game that was developed in 2015 and has opened to the public in October 31st, 2016. It's amazing to see Discover Aquatic Research Facility turning 4 years old today. You know, when Discover was very small and only, we only had Discover Computer Core, Discover Aquatic Research Facility has very interesting histories, which I'm happy to explain. On October 31st, 2016, we've opened Discover Aquatic Research Facility to the general public. This is our first game where we added a more of a testing place or what we call an experimental place. This is the first game that we make that many people from the public can try out the new build of Discover Aquatic Research Facility and provide feedback along the way. That's something that we do today. With your feedback, we continuously push new updates or what we call feature updates to Discover Aquatic Research Facility. From the Emerald update and now the community update. Now, I want to talk about the Emerald update. The first feature update we pushed out to the general public. At first launch, we only saw around 5 to 10 concurrent players at that time. Our group member count was at 70. Yeah, we were very small back then. 70 people in our group. And we only had 3 staff monitoring and helping Discover grow. During the development of the Emerald update, it was a pretty interesting one. And one, one of the most, um, I would say the most not well thought out update for Discover Aquatic Research Facility. Discover Aquatic Research Facility, the Emerald update was going to be focused on adding new features such as the ability to gain points, spend your points, and have like a more of your character needs where you'll be able to replenish your hunger, your thirst, etc. We've also had this idea of adding career mode. Which back then, with that much people in our group, we were very small and we only had a limited amount of resources and developers to make that possible. So we decided to add those new features into the game. Unfortunately, we did not meet our promises of adding points, uh, the career mode, but we added basic functionality of the hunger and the thirst feature. And when many people started playing the game, there were many bugs that many people were reporting to us. From every revision, from starting from the first release, the Emerald Update had, re had uh, released 20 patches over time before we discontinue it in 2018. This is the very first auditorium in Discover Aquatic Research Facility to be addressing the Community Update release on May 15, 2019. We have learned our lesson of not adding too much features or what developers call feature creep. We were to admit that if it wasn't for the community update, Discover Aquatic Research Facility would continue to have bad reputation of being the most buggiest game we have ever made. But I want to make it clear that the community update goal was to fix issues while continuously adding new features for the community to enjoy. After the community update's release, we have beaten our old record of having 100 players in one server at that time. A lot of people begin to praise Starve of being the first game we made 
to listen to the community and adding features for the community for players to enjoy. After the community update release, we had multiple, multiple plans for the future of Discover. Back then, we had around 750 members when the community update was released. But after the community update was released and support all the way to November 15th, 2019, many people were to expect of the new update of the Discover Aquatic Research Facility called the Oceanic Update. The Oceanic Update's goal of providing new features and fixing more bugs than the community update had. But that was the first feature update that I wasn't part of. And that reason I will explain later. The Oceanic Update back then was going, was going well. We have received a lot of feedback about the game, such as the reputation system, the dark tablet, etc. However, when the days go by, not much has been done to discover aquatic research facility. In fact, our new game that we were merged with Seekatech Enterprises, codenamed Zepto, was in the work, which I have been pursuing from all this time to be working, which was to become Discover Subterranean Research Base. The Oceanic Update's development was very, very rough. There were multiple issues, multiple bugs, and it came crashing to the ground again. And I have heard this saying that when the leadership leaves the spot, it will never be the same again. And it really disappointed a lot of people who were looking forward to the Oceanic Update. And myself too. We have let down many people of what they were looking for for the Oceanic Update. But when I take a look at it again, the community update is still holding strong to this day, albeit some client issues along the way. However, the community deserves more. The community deserves more for Discover Aquatic Research Facility and its final days. Because Discover Aquatic Research Facility turned 4 years old today, I am very excited to be announcing Discover Aquatic Research Facility, the final update. This is the last feature update for Discover Aquatic Research Facility. It will be using the same framework from the community update. But this update's goal is to fix issues and provide little features that we couldn't make it. The final update's goal is to finish and to conclude the journey for Discover Aquatic Research Facility. Yes, we will be fixing multiple issues in the community update's framework for it to live longer. Yes, the Discover Aquatic Research Facility will be its own game. For the long run. Now I would say this will be a tiny feature update to conclude the Discover Aquatic Research Facilities Heretics. As we continue to work on new projects such as Discover Subterranean Research Space and our upcoming game Subaquatic Facility. We believe that Discover Aquatic Research Facility deserves another chance to live. Today marks 4 years of Discover Aquatic Research Facility being out for the public. We want to deliver experiences for the community to enjoy while Discover Aquatic Research Facility have its own final update coming next year. In conclusion, Discover Aquatic Research Facility has been out for 4 years now. The final update for Discover Aquatic Research Facility will begin development really soon and have it open next year. As we continue to focus on new technologies for Discover Subterranean Research Space and Discover Subaquatic Facility, we will continue to fix bugs for the final update for Discover Aquatic Research Facility. 
That is a short update for Discover Aquatic Research Facility. However, we're not done yet. I have something to show you guys for Discover Subterranean Research Base. So let's go.